All right, welcome back, guys. Played some more Traveler's Rest today. We're the Snoring Troll, I believe. It's so early. It's a little early. It's like 9.51. It's not that early. And then when you went to bed, of course. Uh, let's see. Alright, another day of making beer and serving said beer. I gotta get some money tip. I need barley and the water. Actually, I have some wort. Maybe we can make, uh... Nope. Okay, put, put in the... This thing. Yep. Make me some ale with a little hint of lemon. And a little bit of, uh... A little bit of hops. And a little bit of wild berries. That sells for three silver a pop now. Oh, cert, we're close. Cert. You can't be drinking at seven in the morning. Okay, get some porridge and get out. Jeez. He's like barely open and he's just already drinking. He had a rough life, apparently. Yeah, technically he's eating. But, you know, when you order a, some soup, what are you going to wash it down with? A nice big ale. All right, chop, 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 chop. Mole, thanks for that resub. And Mrs. BC, thank you as well. Those don't need to be water over there. It looks like every three days. Okay. Now what? We need to uh, chop down all the trees. We need to eliminate all of the trees everywhere. Um, first, let's plant trees. So then we can destroy them. At a later date. Start with this one. I don't hate trees. I just need them all to be my furniture. I have to have furniture. Thank you, Gento, for the 100 bits. For this game, it, it's really, really nice. It's come a long way. Thanks for sharing your gameplay. Thank you, Gento. Yeah, this game is great. They're a very small team, and I can tell the game's going to be, when it's finished, finished, it's going to be just amazing. Chop, 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 chop. I'm not promoting deforestation. I'm planting new trees in their place. So I might be chopping down the forest, but at least I'm planting a new forest at the same time. Ooh, bale fire. Brand new sub. What is going to be your first ever subscriber emo? We got a lot. Perhaps, perhaps you will spin. Perhaps you will find stuff sus. Perhaps you'll be a sad reindeer. What will it be? Maybe you'll sip some eggnog. Blue 
Wait, wait, Wolf, another brand new sub. What's gonna be your first subscriber emote as well? Two brand new subs. Oh, Dan Clueless was Balefire's first sub. Uh, first sub emote. Let's all put some Dan Clueless in chat. Oh, uh, if you're new, to, if you don't know how to do emotes, just, you click on the little smiley face at the bottom of the purple chat button to look at all the emotes. Or you can type colon and then start typing Dan and then they'll all pop up then. Uh, Nirvana, thank you for your month resub. And Eric Conner, thank you for that resub as well. Been really enjoying the gaming comfy gaming session makes working at home extra easy. Hell yeah. Well thank you for supporting the channel with the sub. I appreciate that. Uh, Blue Wolf, we're waiting on your first sub emote. What's it gonna be? Will it be Dan Sus? Dead Spin? Dead P? Will it be Dead Hmm? Oh, Dan Cult. Good choice. I, we're not a cult, we're just people to hang out and wear robes. No big deal. It's a free country, you can do that. We just don't like to think for ourselves. Thinking is hard and boring. Just do whatever the bald man says. We're just, we just like to hang out and talk about books. Sure, they're of Eldrick, uh, Influence, but you know, books and all us. There's a book club. This game is called Traveler's Rest. It's a tavern simulator game where you run a tavern. But just like every other game like this, you don't just run the tavern. You you chop all the trees. You make all the furniture. You chop all the stone. You make stone bowls. You you chop the you go in the mine and you harvest it. You, you like you do everything, and run a tavern and you farm as well. The farming is much simpler than like you know Stardew Valley and stuff though, because the emphasis of this game is not farming. You pretty much just set it there and water it once every three days. Pretty light. Chop, chop, chop. I need lots of coal for my machines. Uh, the only really similarity uh, to Stardew is that it's pixel graphics and you have crafting machines, but other than that, it's not really, the emphasis in this game isn't really farming. It's more about running the actual business of the tavern. And everything you're doing is to support the tavern. And Stardew, you're pretty much just a farmer that does farming stuff and then goes into the mind to battle once in a while but for this it's all about running the tavern and everything you do supports the tavern and here is where we have our tavern this game is in early access though it's not done it's probably not going to be done for another couple years at the earliest I would say Yeah, 1.6 will be coming out for Stardew uh, Valley, so, so probably next year. Maybe. Probably. We'll see. Uh, what do we need? Uh, we need to make some more tables, I think. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, 
Oh, out of fuel. This Can I get the forestry waste to go in faster? Apparently not. Alright, go ahead and schmelt. Make me some iron nails. That's so much of this fire forestry waste. Candelabra. I'll take that. And some more nails. Now let's have this over here work on more planks. Stool. I need another eight. I need more aging barrels and more stuff to craft uh, stuff over there. Also check out the stone. Oven. Iron sheet and stone blocks. Need a lot for that. Let's go get some stone, I guess. This is called Traveler's Rest. Alright, uh, let's go chop. Where is our stone? We need lots of stone. We need coal too, so we'll take the coal. Hopefully they have a better tool at some point, because this is very slow. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, the game is definitely going to have a lot of weird stuff in it because in this tab right here there's there is a magic tab that's not done yet also a social tab so I'm curious as to what so there'll be some sort of magic in the game at some point I don't know what, in what form I don't know if it's like buffing spells or if I cast magic I do with this guy. Hmm. That guy's very frozen. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, the team is very small. They just hired a few more people. By the way, uh, as a warning, this game is currently about ten dollars or maybe fifteen I can't remember which and its price will go up next year so if you want to get it now while it's cheaper then you want to get it probably wait for the steam sale even because the price will go up next year because the game's getting bigger they will they put a warning up that they will be increasing the price of the game because it's getting a lot bigger in scope than they originally planned which is good because bigger game means more more game for me to play now oh, there's some stones chop that uh no dave not at all just uh, they they could have just did it without warning anybody they just warned people that the price will be going up they could have just sprung it on you and then gave you no warning Mushroom. All right. Uh oh, there's a stone there. Stone seems to be kind of a pain in the butt to get. All right, got more stone. Oh, I forgot I could run. Oh my god, the whole time I was walking. 
Forgot I could run. That's so much faster. Oops. Oh, there's some stone there. Gotta see what the bonus is. Dan Boba's tier 2 emote. It wasn't gonna use very much, so we moved it over there. People only miss emotes once they're gone. And then they don't use them when they're there. It's very strange to me. It's like they never use it, and then I take it away, and then they're like, No, I missed it. I loved it so much. Why didn't you use it? Shut up! I only use it. I only want to use it when I don't have it anymore. I just wish there was infinite slots. That'd be nice. All the emote slots. I have every emote. My favorite emote is Dan Old. I feel Dan Old all the time. I definitely feel to all the seeds. All right. Uh, graphically, it looks more like Graveyard Keeper than it does Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley has kind of a dated, a dated graphic look. People forget how long ago that game came out. And how far um, graphics have expanded since then. It's a great game, but Stardew Valley definitely wasn't pushing the edge of what pixel art could be. There's a lot of a lot of games nowadays that are just like pushing the boundaries of what pixel art can be. I've seen some amazing games that have just like mind blowing pixel work. But Stardew Valley is really good for it being all done by one person. That was very impressive. Uh, Coral Island? That's that's a uh, another starting um, valley type game I haven't played yet. I want to check it out sometime. Uh, let, let me go check my mailbox. Spent the whole day mining. These should be growing soon. Hopefully. I got one my nose. Care to look just like you? <laughs> yes. You get to customize your character at the beginning of the game. Uh, Stardew Valley is a finished game, but this one's still in early access. You know it's got a lot of gameplay time on it. Alright, let's see. Um, let's make another large table, large bench, I need more planks for that other large bench. Let's go, all right, let's, let's rearrange if we can. I think these will look better. And then like that. Yeah, large tables against the wall looks, probably looks best. Freeze up the walkway a lot more. 
The answer to this game is ten dollars on Steam. Yes, ten dollars, ten real dollars. It's twenty in Canadian. That's got to stay there. <laughs> the light's going to be a lot more uh, Australian dollars than it is U.S. dollars. Uh, the Steam sale starts soon, the winter sale, and this game might go on sale then. If it does, I would, I would totally pick it up while it's cheap, because it will be going up next year. Well, this game's not done yet. Ten games tend to blow up after they release from early access. Not so much while they're in it. Occasionally that happens, but not usually. Alright, let's put this here. Move you over one for a better workflow. And you right there. Probably fit one here, and then one other, one other smaller table. Currently crafting. I would like to cancel that large table and do another large bench. Small table requires poles. Iron poles. So, small table, I need a lot more nails too, so let's go get some nails. And we'll smelt some more of that. The game's called Traveler's Rest. It's a little like Stardew Valley, but it's mo mostly a tavern simulator game. It's the UI reminds me a lot of Graveyard Keeper. This UI here is very Graveyard Keeper. The color scheme is more like Stardew, though. All right, um, let's do. I need ten. Just need nails right now. Winter sale should start tomorrow. Then hopefully this game's on there. Then you guys can get it a lot cheaper. Small table. I'm just waiting on nails to finish. This game used to have an uh, energy system like Stardew Valley, but they took it away because no one liked it. So now you don't have to worry about energy at all. It's great. Does this ad, do you see ad anywhere on the stream? If it, the answer is no, then it's not an ad. And if you need a double clarification, no, it's not an ad. This game's in early access and it's made by a small team of like two people. Ugh, I like the no energy system, yes. Yes, people play things for fun, it happens. It does happen. Okay, need more fuel. <laughs> All right, more planks. That's my small table. Now I need small benches. I need planks and nails. Planks and nails. Okay, more fuel. Nope. It's out of out of metal. Nails take forever to process. All right, we'll sleep, and then they should all be done in the morning. 
What's that? All oh, tired symbol. Okay. What is that smiley there? All right. Let's go and all the stuff should be processed now. All right, grab all those planks. Okay, small bench. All right, I have a large table, small table. I have a one large bench, maybe a second large bench. I need lots more planks. Make my bed, no! Seem, doesn't seem to do anything each day. Like, like okay. More planks, more nails. Okay, more planks. All right, uh, one large bench. That small bench is almost done, so I need a large bench. Alright, grab that, and then let's go set up the other tables in our place. So we're going to go with a small table and a... Oh, that's a large. We want the small bench. Another small bench. that like walkway open okay all those wooden planks I'm just waiting on that to finish incense burner provides a intense smell crafted an anvil what that does, but I'll craft it, see what it does. More stone blocks. Stone block, iron sheet. It's a lot of sheet. Okay, this table's bench is almost done. There, now I need just one, one little table, one little like individual table, and I think we're pretty good to go. Probably one more little table right here. All right, let's go ahead and any crappy thing? Nope. I was waiting on those crops to finish. Uh, there's no customers and the store is closed. This is called Traveler's Rest. Should stay in the title of the stream there. Alright. Chop, 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 chop. Big shelf stuff can be placed on here. Aging barrel. Need more iron nails for that. Let's make
make more nails then. Don't need more stone blocks. All right, I gotta go mine a little more. Got some coal. Let's mine some coal. Because all my machines eat through fuel like crazy. <laughs> Grab some regular stone as well. I need a better tool. It does take a long time to mine. It takes like a whole day. I need copper in a while, but I'll grab some just in case. Uh, was it maybe I said people who made Stardew? You mean person who made Stardew? The one guy? Now, the one guy is making Haunted Chocolatier, Concerned 8. And a different studio made a uh, graveyard keeper. And now this is a third different studio that's making this game. I think they've only made one other game before. Chat, I'm gonna tell you a shocking revelation. All right, brace yourselves. This is going to blow your goddamn mind, all right? Concerned Ape made a wonderful game of Stardew Valley, but he did not invent pixel graphics. <gasps> he did not invent them. They were existed before him, and they will exist after him. He was just one of the biggest games to ever use pixel art. But he did not invent the, the art style. I promise. Not every pixel game that was made that looks like pixel art is not his game. I invented it. Pixel art was actually invented in, I think, the 80s with, like, arcade machines. <laughs> Even, like, Atari was, like, pixel art back in the day. It's just an older style of uh, graphics. There's been lots of um, iterations on it ever since. Because back in the day, all they had was pixels. Like, you couldn't make a, a really high-res photo. You only had pixels to work with, so they had to learn how to do pixel stuff. Five iron sheets. Oh, I need so many more sheets. Making that oven is gonna be forever. Kojima invented pixels. No, he did not invent pixels. Kevin James and Adam Sandler invented pixels with that shitty movie a few years ago. I'm kidding. Would it be possible to make playlists for games you play more than once? You mean the one like I already do? Mm -hmm. If I if the game has more than one part, it's on a separate playlist. If I only play it one time, then it's only on the general playlist. Hey, you can just like search for the games you want by using the search bar from the top of the screen. You'll find exactly what you're looking for. Alright, nail. Let's make another aging barrel. Uh, right now, I put them under genres and separate playlists. I do both.
All right. Uh, let's see. Chef Light doesn't have one yet. Same thing with Once Human, so I was lost. Well, I'll just search Once Human or Chef's Life. I sometimes... Another shocker, I'm a human. I forget to do stuff sometimes. So if I miss something, just use the search bar. Very easy. Or click the live tab. The live tab has everything in order. So you can see all the things that are there. Uh, thank you for sending the Christmas emoji, Lewis NC. Those are aging. Let's put our beers in here. Again, IPAs not yet. Currently, all I have is uh, mild ale, pale ale, and lager. I'm working on the others. Get some mead soon. Ninety recipes available. All right, individual table, and then what do the stools require? The stools require just planks and then nails, and we'll have that all set up. How we doing on porridge? We're doing okay. All right, so let's open the shop. Oh, I forgot candles. Oops. Let me order some candles. Fifteen candles ought to be enough for a little while. I don't know, I'm not a connoisseur of alcohol, so I don't know the difference between the different beers and stuff. I couldn't really tell you. Alright, we got uh, porridge. Broth, porridge, porridge. You want a beer, sir? There you go. Alright, got one porridge. One ale coming up. Two beers coming up. Okay, another beer coming up. All right, guys, want porridge, 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 porridge. One water coming up, sir. There you are. Porridge. Oh, it's starting to get dark. One beer coming up, sir. Here you are. Where is my... My candles still aren't here yet. It's going to be dark in here. Owner's place is a cultist. What? We are not a cult. We just like to hang out in robes. There you go, sir. Table dirty. Let me wipe that down for you. 
Uh, random order request, available no sport, recipe fragments plus 10. Thank you. One porridge coming up, sir. Is that a Graveyard Keeper reference? Probably. Okay, sir. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, this right here is the primary portion of the gameplay is taking care of your tavern. One water coming up. And we got one beer. Another beer. One water coming up. Two waters. Uh -oh. Place is cold. All right, turning on the fire. So we got one beer, one water, and you would like to be beard. Gotcha. Sir, calm down. Okay, two beers. Boom, 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 boom. One beer, here you go. Wiping it down. This game is called, again, Traveler's Rest. It's on early access on Steam, if you're curious. All right. I swear I like this game. I think it's um, really fun. Place is bollocks. You're bollocks. Get out of here. Get out of my dip. Go. Go. Get out. The nerve of that guy. This place is bollocks. You're bollocks. Okay, I got my candles. Okay, putting candles in the candle holders. And then one more right there. Okay, porridge coming up. And then we got how many beers? Two beers? All right, beer. And here's another beer. Yeah, you can hire workers eventually, that's which help out a lot, so you don't have to run around so much. Cleaning. Sir, calm down. All right, clean your table. And clean your table. All right, now we need uh, one water, one beer. All right, uh, two beers, three beers. Okay, you like a beer over here? I'm coming. I'm sorry I'm late. Calm down. Thank you. Clean your table off. I love how they complain about their table getting dirty when they're sitting there dirtying it. Like the nerve of these people. One more water. 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 And another water. And one more water. Let me go clean this spot over here. Let's pet Tifa. Wipe your table down there. Do I have more candle holders? I do. And a candelabra. Put that there and then put the candle in the candle holder. Porridge, porridge, porridge. One water. Boop. Remember the old arcade game Tapper? No, never heard of it. Is it good? Right, put that there. One more water coming up, sir. Watch out, Grandpa. I don't want to see you overhydrated. And wipe your table there. 
Ma'am, calm down. Two beers coming up, fellas. There you go. Two beers. There we go. And porridge and a water. You've got it. And a beer. Okay, one water. Two waters. And over here. Calm down, sir. Sir, get out! Get out! Go! Alright, we need a... Uh, one, one water, one beer. Okay, we gotta wipe down the place. It's getting really dirty. People are gross. Sir, calm down. I'll be I'll be back with your beer in one minute, sir. I'm sorry. I'm a one man show here tonight. Alright, wiped out, wiped out. Okay, we have three beers. Alright, here's your beer, ma'am, and here's your beer, sir. And you need to calm down. Okay, one water coming up. Okay, water. Porridge, porridge. Two waters on the floor, got it. There you go, there you go. All right, last call, people, last call. Finish up your beverages and your food. I'm done for the night. Hey, you guys gotta go. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Get out. Yeah, leave a mess on your way out. Very classy. So classy, just leaving a mess on the floor as I'm cleaning it. The nerve of some people. Alright, gotta go to bed. Now we sleep. Is the cat licking the table? Cat, uh, cats do that. They'll randomly lick tables. Because they're cats. They do cat stuff. Are those ready to be harvested, maybe? This is the slowest growing plants ever. That one did grow faster than the others. Hmm. Oh, we finally have some rice. Oh, I think those were maybe planted one day earlier than the other. Rice. Wait for that to grow, then we'll do the other one. Okay, two planks. A lot of people in your tavern think you're a cultist. <laughs> why would you? Why would you think something like that? Uh, code red. We have a code red. People are questioning our cult status. Over. Um, my friend Earl is gonna listen to your concerns, and he'll be over here in a second just to take you in the back room and talk to you about what you're saying out here in public. Yeah, he's just gonna, you know, go in the back and take care of you. Saying all this blasphemy, I mean, weird stuff. Uh. 
How many days left of spring are there currently? We have, oh, plenty. So let's order some more crops. We need a lot more crops. So. What recipes do I have and what I need for them? Uh, no, the creator of Stardew Valley is working on a new game called uh, Ch Haunted Chocolatier. He has nothing to do with this game at all. Okay, need more. I need lots of barley. This game's called a Traveler's Recipe might be by a very small group of people. All right, let's go ahead and put a small table and the stool. Actually, it won't fit there. Maybe I can... Probably move it there and then put. Can I move it down one? Yeah. Yeah, it's right. It's fine right there. Make a couple extra, um, couple extra candle holders if we can. Get a few more tables in a candle holder. All right, so for seeds, let's see. We're definitely gonna want lots more barley seeds. barley grains. Uh, let's go... Let's go 16. Also, uh... We'll go check what I can cook and see what we need for that. Salad to require um, lettuce, corn on the cob, mushrooms with cream, sweet potatoes. Okay, grow sweet potato, onions, bread. That requires bread dough. How do I make bread dough? I don't see that option anywhere. Bread with tomato. So salad seems pretty easy. Just any random three vegetables and lettuce. I like to make my own salad. So let's see. Do we have lettuce? Okay, lettuce, and then how about tomato?
We'll buy that for now. They're so expensive. When we played this a long time ago, it was uh, during a Christmas event, and there weren't seasons yet. And then the, uh, if I remember correctly, they had like a Christmas event going on, where you could like earn Christmas decorations, and it was really cute. I know I'm broke. I have no money anymore. Okay, let's chop some more stuff. Uh, you make your own character at the beginning of the game, and you can customize it and give it a name. You also name your tavern at that point as well. This game is called Traveler's Rest. Lots of people in the TikTok chat are asking what the game is. It's not done yet. It's been early access for about three years now. And my guess is probably going to be another two or three because it's a really small team. And they move a little slow. But they do make some big media updates all the time. Like they just got, um, we just, they just added a bunch of recipes recently with the latest update. Left my arm behind. Yeah, it happens. It'll it'll stay there. Won't this this despawn or anything? So I'll grab it later when I can. So let's put the candelabras we made in here, and then fill them with candles. Because people like to be able to see. Oh man, over here. Uh, let me make a wall torch as well. I would like, because I need to be able to see in that bar. So to make a wall candle holder, I need iron nails. I need, I need iron. Go ahead and put the fuel in. Smell iron. Okay, still need a bunch of slabs and a bunch of iron bars for that oven. I don't know if that's like a cooking oven or what. Order delivered. All right, let's do some farming. So we're doing, this one's going to be 16, so do 4x4. Four four. First we got to shovel out the grass and stuff. And then we till, then we water, and then we plant. Currently the game is about $10, I think. And it's going to go up in price next year. So if you want to get it while it's a little bit cheaper, I get it before the end of the year. Steam sale should start tomorrow. And then um, usually stuff like this, even in early access, goes on sale. So you might be able to get it cheaper even then. Yeah, Stardew Valley was like $15, and it was like crazy amount of value for your time. This seems like it's going to be pretty similar to that, where it's just you get so much game for so little money. Game feels a little like Graveyard Keeper? Good. Good. I want all the studios making all the games like this. All of them. People say that a game looks like another game. I'm like, good. Good. I want, we want more of them. Make more of them. Get every studio on this. We want like everyone working on these games. Because uh, small indie teams can only work so fast. 
So we're not gonna we're not probably not get haunted chocolate here for another two years from uh, the Stardew Valley dev. So it's like I want games in between. I want them all the time. Yeah, a few came out this year. This was pretty good. Uh, Sunhaven, uh, Palio, um, Coral Island. A lot of them I haven't played yet, but it's supposed to be pretty decent, like farming sim games. Yeah, the uh, concerned ape. Every time he works on um, Haunted Talk Tier, he's like, "Hmm." But what if I made more Stardew Valley patches? <laughs> well, well uh, sure. We'll take another one. Sunhaven's a good one. I haven't tried that one. Where can you play? Steam. How do you show the grid? Uh, I don't know. It just does it by default when I pull out the tool. It might be an option in the settings or something. I don't think I turned it on. I think it was just on by default. Okay, now we water and then we plant our lettuce. And then I need to get some tomatoes started. I need more money. All right, let's earn some cash. Let's open up the shop. Oh, I need water. Almost out. Grab some water. There we go. All right, welcome everybody. Nothing says it's the work week like getting a beer at night at five o'clock on the evening. Um, I was gonna do something, but my brain forgot what it was. All right, there you go. Oh, you want a water? Water coming up. Porridge, you got it? Porridge. You need to calm down, sir. Get out! No causing mischief on my shift. Okay, there's your water. I love how they complain that my water is watered down. Like, what do you expect? It's water. Would you rather have stuff in it? I don't, I don't what? You like a water? All right. Put some more water on there. Okay, one water coming up. Let me wipe down this table for you. Wipe down that table. You want to speak Barky? Why? No! Don't talk to the customers! Yeah, the water is watered down. What do you want? Get out! You just People are just finding reasons to complain nowadays. It's like if they don't have something to complain about, they don't know what to do with themselves. Okay, one gruel. Oh, we're out of food, food. So we have to serve gruel now. Let's just slop. Uh, we started playing uh, a few days ago. Um, only for about a few hours. So we're about, we're about three or four hours in the game right now. Gruel, gruel, gruel. Service here is terrible. I'll show you terrible. I'll show you terrible. How about that? Is that terrible? There you are. Let me clean this for you. I know our water is extremely watered down. 
Okay, everyone needs to calm. Everyone's getting rowdy right tonight. Relax. Beer. You would like a beer? Gotcha. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, one water coming up. Oh, it's freezing. Let me turn on the fire. Okay, let me get this mopped up. It's getting gross in here. Uh, this isn't a one-person job. But that's why you can hire workers at some point. Workers are cutting your profits, though. So you got to get to the point where you are making enough to support a worker. Otherwise, what am I going to do? Have them work for nothing and expect them to live only on tips? <laughs> That would be that would be stupid. All right, one one water. Okay, I'll wipe down your table. Right here is a serving table, so eventually you'll just be able to drop your drinks right here, and the server will give them to people. Travis, thank you for becoming a supporter on the YouTube chat. Appreciate that. This game is called Traveler's Rest, where you run a uh, tavern. The graphic style is a little like Stardew Valley or Graveyard Keeper. Remember those games, but it's not made by either of those teams. What do you want? Oh, get get out. Just get out. All right, there you go. Clean that. Oh, and that. I'm coming to clean it. There you go. Okay, we got three water, four waters. One beer. And here's your water. Boom. Sir, calm down. Thank you. Let me clean these tables. There you go. Alright, then water. Beer. Last beer. We're out of beer, everybody. Don't panic, but we're out of beer. All we have is water. I'm sorry, there's no beer. I've officially run out of beer. Uh, we're gonna get through this together. Last call, everybody. Get out, we're out of beer. This is not a drill. You're officially out of beer. Okay, let me order some more tomatoes. I want to get so many of these things that I can feel it from my head to my toes. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's get the place clean up. Not everyone's gone. Alright, so I cleared out. A, I need to. I ordered 12 tomato seeds, so I need to clear out a space for 12. Oh, 
don't have a use for plant fiber yet. Might for feeding our uh, animals later. Unlike Stardew Valley, you can serve meat in this game. And you get to raise animals, so that means there must be butchering in this game. Just to warn you. <laughs> Where's my order? Maybe when I'm done uh, making this area, it'll be there. Crapful and the J Tom, thank you for the subs on Twitch with the 10 month and the 102 month resub. Thank you very much. It's a lot more than just serving the tavern. Yeah. You uh, build all the furniture, you craft all the stuff you sell, you make your own beer. It's a lot of stuff in this game for sure. <laughs> uh, they used to have energy in the game, but they took it away because people said it wasn't fun. My order gets here before we're done. Uh, yes, you can put candles in your tavern to make it lit inside. Is that what you mean by lit? Okay, chop, 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 chop. Yeah, the energy system in this game wasn't fun. It just not being able to do what you want. Uh, like, I get why a lot of games have energy, but it's kind of like a gas pedal for fun. It just, you run out of gas, you're like, aw. Ah. Man, I want, I want to play more. that there just to get rid of it. Oops, I passed out. Make sure to get to bed before 3am. There's no penalty for us and there's no energy though. Although I do wake up later in the day. I guess that's the penalty. Oh, we can harvest our veggies now. All right, tomatoes officially planted. Okay, then water these guys. Harvest. Plants 10 seeds and harvest crop. They are ready. Just got a, what is this? A grinder. Grind cereals and other ingredients. Oh, cool. Looks like got some rice. I'll have to order more rice and stuff. I don't have any money for more seeds, though. At least not right now. But we can't craft a bunch more stuff. Vegetable broth. Now, if I want to make fried onions, I need breadcrumbs and oil. I'm not sure how to get those. Let me go to the Dark Lord of Recipes. Not kidding. 
Let me go to the Eldritch Lord of of cooking recipes. <laughs> this is a mod. No, this is a game called Traveler's Rest. All right. Uh, prepare for the Dark Lord of food recipes. We go into the dark portal. I wish to know your recipes for food. Sweet pie, corn chowder, toast, turnip cream, soup, sweet pie. Thank you, Dark Lord, for your recipes. how you get more cooking recipes. <laughs> I don't know why all the theatrics, but that's, that's how you get them. You get that currency by leveling up your tavern. Does someone need, really need to teach you how to make toast, though? That, like, you, you take bread, you apply heat, and then you put something on after you... Like, did they even have to write it down? I'm curious. Hope they find another turkey. Turkeys are nice because they get you a meat broth. Sells pretty well. I don't I don't even I don't know if I'd even consider making bread, making toast, cooking. It's like basically just reheating something that someone else made. I mean if you want to technically call it cooking, then fine, but I don't know. Just like, it's not that much more involved than microwaving something, you know? Even boiling pasta is more cooking than making toast. up here. Yeah, the uh, bread you choose it makes all the difference with toast, for sure. And also, whatever jam you use. You guys ever been to a restaurant called First Watch? Their toast is amazing there because they use really good bread and they make homemade preserves every day. And those are delicious. Yeah, First Watch is always super packed here. It's such good breakfast food. Chop, chop, chop. All right, now we need to go to, um, go back and start making a bunch of stuff. Oh, we need this, we need this coal for sure. Our stuff's low on uh, fuel already. I gotta make sure I have this fuel every day. Hope there's some way to upgrade our pick too. All 
All right, to make this oven, I need three more sheets and a bunch more iron. So one, two, oh, need more metal. Some coal here. It's not reserves, it's called uh, preserves, because you're preserving it by making it a jam and jelly. Preserves. A lot of people call it jelly, though. Although, jelly and preserves are, I think they're made a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you, a lot of people call it jam, too. There's a first watch near me. I'll check them out. They have really good breakfast food and brunch food. And some of them even serve cocktails. So you can get like a... You can get like a... A mimosa with your breakfast. If you, if you feel like drinking with, for breakfast. If you put orange juice in it, then it's not drinking. It's, it's just... It's breakfast. Okay, put the fuel in. Okay, we need uh, three iron sheets. Oh, I need to turn the bars into sheets. So, one more sheet and then a bunch of more bars. We prefer marmalade over jam. I prefer Lady Marmalade, personally. Uh, this game is called Traveler's Rest. I know your name, it's Dan. I know, that's why it's called Dan's Gaming. Takes a detective to figure that one out. <laughs> that's a tough one. I don't have any, wait. Did I not make any barley? I have rice. I have roasted barley. some mild wart there. I guess we're making some porridge for now. Roasted barley, what is it used for? Used for making drinks. Oh, I don't have that, I don't think. Not enough points. Of course not. Okay, uh, we need to... What did I pull out of that thing then? Sort by type. Onion, hops, rice. Did I not grow barley? How did I grow then? Oh, this wasn't this wasn't harvested yet. Hopefully tomorrow. I gotta run the bathroom real fast, guys. Be back in just a second.
Alrighty then. Vegetable broth doesn't seem worth it. We will do the porridge. Porridge seems okay, profit-wise. Do more mild wort. Let's go to make some beer. The aromatics. I don't have any barley, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and fill up all this porridge. Sell that and make some more money. Pet the kitty. She's mad. She doesn't have any food or water. How much is the cat stuff? Four of those. Just gotta make some more money first. Now, what does this do? The grinder. I wonder if this goes. Probably goes in the kitchen, I'd imagine. Yep, there it goes in here. Oh, that's where you make flour and breadcrumbs. I can make rice flour. Looks like we're out of quests. There's no more, like, guided quests. Alright, so we got farming should be done tomorrow, hopefully. We can buy some more stuff. Anything else I have to craft? Oh, I forgot this. We want iron sheet and then iron bars. So we have, I'm going to buy this game tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. the Steam sale should be tomorrow, and hopefully this game will be on there. This game is great. You'll get quests as you level up. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. They didn't mention something about over here, this thing. There was orders. Are there special quests, craftable items? A task drag over there. Meat broth. Onion rings. So I bet I could make bread, and then from the bread make bre bread crumbs in the grinder. That make the most sense to me. Okay, we are three crafts away from being able to make that oven and see what the oven is. Let me know what it is. A brazier. It's well lit. Don't crap it though. I don't want to waste my nails. Low table. Small shelf. Uh, workbench. Oh, it's that thing over there. I would like to make some more brewing barrels so we can craft more stuff. Where do I make the the big brewing thingy? Maybe the stone one? Nope. I don't see a way to make um, the brewing thing. It's mostly stone, though. So is it under here? Metal jug. Basic forging. Multi-machine forging tank. Sawmill. Schmelter. Stone construction. I know there's somewhere. Yeah, the oven might be a second, like, cooking oven, which would be fine. Let's make I cook two things at a time. Okay, making the oven, finally. Let's see what the hell it is. Mortar and pestle. Crushes and shreds. 
Have I made one of those? We have one aging barrel in our inventory. Play us off and on since early access. Can't wait till it's done. Me too. The worst part about early access games that are good is that you have to wait for them to, to finish. Sometimes it's a long, agonizing wait. Like uh, Stone Shard is another game that I've been waiting for forever. Still nowhere near being done. Some like they're just so good. You're like, damn, this is so much fun. You're like, oh, yeah, I gotta wait a long time to play it for real. Uh, can I make bread? I need bread dough. Where do I make bread dough? I have flour. I don't know where you make bread dough though. Somewhere around here hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, Concerned Ape is making uh, haunted chocolates here. There's nothing new with this game. This game just uses pixel art. Just like uh, Graveyard Keeper uses pixel art. All right, let's go and rest the next day. Okay, now we sleep. Stardew Valley invented the genre. Not true. Harvest Moon did. But uh, Stardew Valley was a great rebirth of the genre. Uh, Concern Ape even says himself he was heavily inspired by Star uh, Harvest Moon. That's why so many Harvest Moon mechanics ended up in Stardew Valley. But then he took the base formula and added to it to make it more modern. Stardew Valley definitely revived the genre because Harvest Moon was kind of dying out. And now that Stardew Valley did so well, it revived Harvest Moon again, and now Harvest Moon is back. There's actually two Harvest Moons now. There's Harvest Moon and then Story of Seasons, which is made by the original Harvest Moon developers. Let's see what this Mortar and Pestle does. Traveler's Rest, name of the game. All right, um, trying to figure out where we make bread dough. I don't know where to make it. Bread dough. High ingredient starter dough. High quality starter dough. Maybe there's some sort of bread mixer or some tool I don't have yet. Food prep table? Oh, this thing. 79 silver food prep table. That's probably what it is. Okay, so we grab that. I don't see, it doesn't seem like I can craft it yet. Food prep table. Nope, all right, well. Now I know where to get it though. Ready to harvest yet? Nope. <laughs> of course not. All right, so we gotta earn some cash.
Okay, start brewing up some beer, please. Go check on the stuff for aging down here as well. And put that in there. So if we let that go the full time, it'll be the cell for three. Let's also put our food in here. Got lots and lots of porridge to sell. Let's go see if we can find a turkey. Because if we get some turkey, we can kill it and then make some meat broth, which will be good profits. Alright, looking for turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Actually, turkeys would be down this way. Actually, we should go to the south of the map. Alright, sometimes turkeys spawn if you're lucky. Maybe not in the rain, but we'll hopefully find a turkey. Mushroom. All right, let's go down on the bottom side of the map so we can find a turkey there. No turkeys, unfortunately. I see a duck. Wait, is there something over there? Oh, deep woods. I don't remember this area. This is something new. Let's grab these mushrooms. That's like the coal. This looks too much like Stardew Valley. Do you not want Stardew Valley games? Do you only want the one and none, none other? Imagine if they made Call of Duty and then never ever made another shooter again. Because we can't have guns and good graphics and bullets and stuff because that'd just be Call of Duty. This game has a lot of differences from Stardew Valley. It's not really, you're not really farming very much. You're mostly just running the tavern. It's more of a, it's almost like Diner Dash more than it is Stardew Valley. I don't know if you ever played Diner Dash, but when we open the tavern, you'll see that's where most of the game is. Everything outside of the tavern is just trying to get stuff ready to sell in the tavern. Uh, the graphics are actually a lot better than Stardew Valley because Stardew Valley is kind of a dated pixel look because it came out so many years ago. It looks more like um, Graveyard Keeper than it does Stardew Valley. Both have like more, more defined uh, pixel art than than uh, Stardew does, which was great at the time, but it's, the game is getting a little old now. All right, let's uh, open and sell. Uh, let me grab. I need more water. I apparently out of water. Yep, we're out of water. Let's get some more. I personally like when people make games like other games because that means we get more of them. Concerned Ape uh, is currently working on uh, Ch Haunted Chocolatier, and I'd rather have games while we're waiting on him to finish his than to not ever have a game like his ever again. All right, two waters, one porridge. I'm gonna pre-pour the water. All right, one water for you, ma'am. Okay, porridge, porridge, porridge. Of course it's watered down, it's water! Get out of my goddamn tavern, piece of shit. Okay, go, go, go. All right, got it clean. All right, then serve the water. Okay, pour it, water, porridge, porridge. Put that there. All right, water. 
Wiping down your tab your table, sir. Okay, wipe down your tavern here. You can finally give me rest, want my money back. Sir, why? What's wrong? Get out! Ma'am! Get out of my restaurant! Jeez. Okay, clean. Alright, water. Second water. Okay, water. Water. Okay, let's do this. Wipe this down. Well, we're in the... If we're in, like, medieval times, there is no Yelp for them to complain on other than actually yelping into the street. Yelp! Five stars! Yelp! Two stars! Grab a water. There you are, sir. I'm gonna mop this up. Did you have to throw your mug on the ground? Oh, these people. No respect for the working man anymore. Okay, water. Boom, boom. And... The game's called Traveler's Rest. If you like games like Stardew Valley or Graveyard Keeper, you'll enjoy this one. But it's not done yet, it's in early access. Okay, let's mop that up. Okay, water, water. And boop. Sir, get out of the, you can't be behind the bar. Go. Get out of here. Okay, let's clean. You went behind the bar to yell about me. Yes, we'll be able to uh, afford a worker soon. Once, once we get our, once we get our, um, Profits a little bit higher, we'll be able to actually have workers. The cut down of us having to run around all the time. But you have to you have to pay them or something. Ma'am, you gotta go. One water, sir. We don't have any beer, unfortunately. It's all brewing. Are you causing problems, ma'am? You gotta go. Get out. All right, got one water to the gentleman. Uh, rotation five rewards enchanted broom. Enchanted broom. Magic broom that keeps your floors clean. Oh. It's a magical broom that will mop the floors for me. Now that is convenient. It's a Broomba, yeah. It means it'll probably get caught on the on the furniture all the time. Okay, serve, serve, serve. Don't cause problems, sir. Thank you. One water for you. Okay, we got three waters. There you are. Oh, I forgot about my experience points. Oh, never mind, I don't have any. Okay, uh, boop, sir. We got two waters and I got a lot of dirty stuff. Okay, let's get this stuff clean. I'm sorry, people, it's getting really messy in here. Man, I'm just one person. Okay, clean, clean, clean. 
You gotta go. You gotta go. Get out. Okay, cleaning. Cleaning. Yeah, water's what you sell when you're out of everything else. And you charge like over a silver for it. And it's just wall water that you can get outside. Okay, looking much better. Okay, four waters. There you go. And then here's your water. You need to calm down. Get out! Okay, two waters. I don't have uh, any staff because I can't afford to pay them. Okay, another water. Another water. All right. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yes, your water is watered down. That's what it is, ma'am. Okay, turn on the fire. Oh, no, nope, fire off. All right, grab waters, need four waters. Boom, boom, boom. And then here. Okay, let me wipe this down for you. Wipe your table down too. Okay, three waters coming up. All right, one water over here, and let me wipe your table down. Wipe your table down. These tables get so dirty so quickly. You gotta go. Get out. Okay, wipe. And wipe down. I need to place... I have to close the restaurant in order to place the broom down. All right, sir, porridge, water, porridge, one water for you. Get out of here. Oh, it's freezing in here. Okay, turn on the, turn on the, the fireplace. Otherwise it was getting cold. Okay, two waters. Okay, another water. Three waters. Four waters. <laughs> One, two, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this down for you. All right, uh, grab that. Boom, boom. Okay, run this down. And then that one. Wipe this down as well. Okay, I need to clean this. Graveyard Keeper is a fun game too. It's just, it's, even with the zombie stuff, it's really, really, really grindy game. But the absolute worst part about Graveyard Keeper, and I love Graveyard Keeper, is the soundtrack. There's only like six songs, and you hear them again and 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 again, and you get them just like ingrained into your brain. Like they're good songs, but you hear them just so often. They have some really good tracks in the new DLC areas, but you only hear them in the new DLC areas. Someone needs to make a mod to like put those musics into the rest of the game. I usually with Graver Keeper I have to mute the music after a while and just like play my own tavern music in the background. Alright, there you go, there you go, there you go. Making decent money. Okay, water. Okay, water for you, ma'am. And what do you want? Oh, you want to get the hell out and get out? Got time for your shit right now. I'm running a business. Okay, clean that. 
And clean your table. And let's go clean your table as well. And boom, boom, boom. One, two waters coming up. Okay, one water coming up. There you go, sir. You would like your table wipe down, there you go. Uh, good morning, Daniel Rodriguez. Okay, uh, sir, water. Okay, and calm down, sir. Okay, you like some porridge? Here you go. No. Get out. Go. Get out. I'm trying to cause a ruckus in my place. Okay, wipe down your tavern for this thing here. Okay, water, water, water. One water over here. Okay, wipe down the table. Wipe down your table. I know the patrons are super slobs. Now you gotta clean tables all the time. Right here, what do you wanna speak to me about? Yeah, that's right, pipe down. All right, it's after midnight. Last call, everybody. Last call. Tavern must be closed. Okay, now I can place my magic broom, which will auto-clean for me. Oh, look, there it goes. Look at it, auto-cleaning. It's magic. It's my Broomba. Well, that cuts down a lot of crap I have to do. Let's buy some coasters. Uh, we need probably 30 coasters. Big chest. I do enjoy a big chest. Okay, let's get a cat bed and a cat bowl for Tifa. And... Crafters, food prep table would be nice. Mixing tank. Pres preserves table. There's so many different tables. Clean. I'm gonna clean this table as well, and then we can go to bed. I'm sad they canceled the um, the nudity thing, as I was about to reboot my channel with uh, a little pole dancing, but unfortunately, my plans are canceled. Right, let's age all that stuff in there. Yeah, you can still pole dance, but no nudity. It's like, why would you have one without the other? You kind of like need both. <laughs> All right, are, are crops ready? 
Oh, these already too. Chop this down so I can see. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Now, is that barley ready? It doesn't look like it's ready, though. Now, this looks ready. Ah, wheat. So the wheat is ready, but the barley is not. Barley goes really slowly. Yeah, this is currently PC only because it's in early access. But once it launches out of early access, it'll probably be on console as well. Now that we have wheat, we, might, we could probably make bread. We got the new uh, food prep table as well. All right, let's grab our stuff we ordered from Amazon. I gotta order more candles too, rat candles. Our place is getting a little crowded though. I need some more space. Food prep table. Oh my God, that is huge. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. I was not expecting to be so big. Bread dough. I need kitchen yeast. And a bucket of water. Alright, so make flour. IPA. Lighted, malted. Barley stuff, so right now. We need to buy yeast. But while we're waiting, we can make a little more porridge. Fuel this up. Oh, you can put the chest in here and then everything pulls from the chest? Oh, cool. Well, that is convenient. I did not know that. Oh, that's amazing. I just put all of this stuff in here. And it'll just use it all automatically. That is amazing. Thanks for the tip. Pepper. So bread sells for a little, but not much. I can make toast once I make the bread. I need jam, though. I need a preserves maker for that. You gotta buy yeast, or is the way to make yeast? I think you can only buy it though. Oh yeah, I do have an oven. Oh, it is a second oven. Look at that. Okay, this kitchen is getting really tiny. <laughs> I, need, I need some space, damn it. I don't have enough room for everything. I'm getting real cramped up in here. it up. Vegetable broth. <laughs> Vegetable broth, meat broth, fish broth, 
roasted sweet potato. Oh, we can have a cup of tea. A nice cuppa. Make some more barley though. Some more porridge though. Okay, then make more flour. I want to work towards bread. All right, so. In your craft room, log changes craft station next to the inventory. Does that mean that probably works in here too? But we need to get more money. Oh, I need yeast. That's right. How much is yeast? Kitchen yeast is 11 for each one. Oh, God. So expensive. Okay, I need money. We're opening. Okay, let me place down these napkins, which should help. Napkins, I believe, make it so that tables get dirty less often because they get dirty so fast otherwise. Sir, serve, 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 serve. Water coming up. There you go. Serve, serve, serve. Get all the porridge, people. I'm gonna pre-pour some water. So I can have five total. Okay, water for you. So even with that coaster, he still is a slob. Oh, they already used them all? Damn. They still seem to get very dirty very quickly, so I don't... Honestly, that wasn't right. I'm uh, glad I have Broomba now, though. Broomba will take care of a lot of the messes on the floor. Look there. Oh, that was too bad. Never mind. That is Broomba. He goes in, he takes care of his messes for us. I need yeast, people, so order more food and drinks. Uh, they just had a big update where they added a bunch of cooking recipes and some more involved farming. That just came out, I think, last week. Where's the nearest cobblers? What those people? Do they make apple cobbler or do they make shoes? Hmm. Two kinds of cobblers. I wish I was a cobbler and I just make apple and peach cobbler all day. That would be a good job. Not just a baker. I want to make it. I just want to make just cobbler all day. That auto broom is amazing. It does such a good job. Look at it go sweeping the floor. Thought I said gobbler. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a gobbler. <laughs> That's 
a different, very different profession. There a problem, sir? That's right, I'll clean your table. Now calm down. There's your water. Fresh well water coming up. You would like a water, sir, coming right up. Get a few extra waters just in case. Water for you. Water for you. Problem, sir. Sir, you gotta go. You gotta go. Okay, porridge, 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 porridge. Uh, two waters coming right up. Water, water, clean the table. Hello, sir. No, nope, you gotta go. Nope, no upsetting to the customers. Okay, we got three waters. Gruel, it must be out of food then. Calm down, sir. Last call, people. We're closing for the afternoon. Gotta get more food. Okay, let's go uh, grab some more yeast. So we get all that bread made. Six yeast, that looks good to me. Okay, we got two. You guys are pigs. Look how dirty you left it. Ugh. Nasty. Alright, now let's make bread dough. Using the using that flour there. Takes a long time. And then after we make bread, we can make the bread dough. Mm -hmm. uh, Stevie, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub on Twitch. Appreciate that. Check on the plants, just make sure they're okay. Let me water, 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 water. Some tomatoes, water, water. Let me see all the water too. Once these babies fully harvest, then we can actually make our own beer finally how long barley takes to cook. I'm sorry, to grow. It's forever. Let's go check. Oh, let's clean the tables first. Oh. Disgusting. How are we doing on aging down here? Everything's going good. Still got time. All right, more bread dough. Go ahead and make that. Now we can actually bake bread. Oh, that makes a lot. Okay, let's. Having that second oven is actually very useful. It's been helping a lot. I'm gonna make be making a ton of bread. Preserves table is four gold. 
The press is two, three gold. Oh man. I have to sell just bread for a while. Unless. I did see there was a recipe for bread and tomatoes. I can't possibly put something on the bread without having the recipe first. I can't just take the bread and put tomatoes on it. I'd have to have the recipe tell me to do that first. We have bread! Make a little more porridge as well. Can you go grab some water? Oh, I need oil from olives to put on there. Of course, I can't just put the tomato on the bread. That would be crazy. To have oil too. Okay, got my bread yeast. We also need some more candles, if I can get some more candles. I don't have much money. I only have a very tiny amount. Oh, I went to, I went to go get water. Oops. God, I'm getting old. Sometimes you go to do something and your brain's just like... It just, it just evaporates. Okay, now I got the water again. Tifa. Oh, I'll, I'll, let me pet you. Oh, Tifa, I got you a present. I got you water and a cat bed. I'll put the water bowl right here for you. There you go. Probably a happy kitty now. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs and oil. Any oil. Now what is this incense burner? Getting a little dark over here in the corner. I need more candles, damn it. I have no money for them. Okay, let's cook all we can. More bread dough. Make me some more bread. And let's go ahead and go to sleep. Yeah, we'll just leave our food cooking all night. Absolutely no potential problems can come from that. None at all. Okay, please let the barley be done growing, please. Oh, it looks like I can harvest it finally. Finally, we can now craft beer. Oh, yeah. Because that's one thing our tavern is really missing is beer. Light malted barley.
Okay, I need another one of these things and another one of these things. But then I, I don't have much room for those. Okay, we have plenty of that. Let's make some more porridge. We'll have a nice variety of things to sell to people. Not for that yet. Pale ale. They all require the same thing, which I don't have, which is... Ale yeast. It's the same genre as Sardew Valley, for sure. Until they were inspired by the UI and stuff. But unlike Study Valley, you have like a goal, that, a very specific goal, which is run your tavern. Whereas Study Valley is more like, just make as much money as possible by farming. This actually gives you a, a job to work on. Which kind of sounds like what Haunted Chocolates here is going to be, where it's going to be running this chocolate business. Yeah, and Graveyard Keeper for sure. Haunted Chocolate here sounds like you're going to be like something like Study Valley, but you'll be running a business with all the effort you're you're putting into it. Oh, thanks for all the follows on the TikTok stream, guys. Appreciate that. And the YouTube YouTube and the Twitch. Thank you for those follows, guys. A lot of new people in chat today. Soggy Waffles, thank you for that 85-month resub on Twitch. Okay, I gotta earn money. Let me grab whatever. I think I ordered something. No, I didn't. All right, let's go ahead and check the end of stuff done. No, it's all. I want it to all age all the way. All oh, you're done here. Dark malted barley, sure. Pale wort. I need some ale yeast though. Okay, I need... No, closing! We're closing! Clo close, sorry! I forgot to put food in here. J just a joke! <laughs> Not actually open. Okay, make more bread. I really, really, really need to get, need to get bread for our food, because that'll make people enjoy that a lot more than other items that we have. Bread comes, flour. Okay, we can make a lot of stuff now. Tifa, are you in my bed again? Oh, there you are. <laughs> she was just in the bed. Like, no, I'm not in the bed. Vegetable broth. We'll try having a little bit of that too. Because customers really like variety of, of food products. The more varied your menu and drinks, the better. Okay, let's open. I need I need your business. We're actually open now. Pre-pour pre -pour all this water. We can get some more water outside, too. Oh, you would like bread. I got fresh baked bread. It was fresh, freshly baked on Tuesday. It is now, it's now Monday, but it was freshly baked when I baked it. There you go, there you go. Enjoy, everybody. Yes, ma'am. Yes, calm down. Eat your bread and be be happy. 
This game is called Traveler's Rest, and it's only on PC right now because it's in early access. Okay, sir, are you okay? Relax. I gotta grab water, people. Be right back. Grabbing the water. If you like Stardew Valley, you'll like this game. It's got a lot of similarities in quite a few systems. All right, let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay, we got two water, two waters, and then one angry Karen over there. Okay, there you go, there you go. What's up, Karen? All right, calm down. All right, we wipe. We wipe. Uh, Stardew Valley is made by one person, Concerned Ape, and he is only working on Stardew Valley and Haunted Chocolatier. No other games. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Stop complaining to my customers. Get out. Some bread. Water for you, sir. Okay, he's sweeping. That's great. Sir, is there, do we have a problem? Yes, we do. Get out. There's your water, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Perfect. Bread, bread, bread. Clean that table down. Sir, here's your water. Calm down, ma'am. Okay, water coming up. Two waters. There you go. Some bread for you, freshly baked. Twiggy, thank you for that two-month resub. Says two months. Thank you for keeping me entertained, good sir. Well, thank you for subbing. Appreciate it. Yes, I smacked the customer with a mop because he was disrespecting my business. This is the medieval times where you could smack a customer with a mop and no one would know about it except people in the building. He can't tweet about it. He can't complain about it on the internet. There's no reviews to leave. He just, you talk, you talk smack, you get whacked in the face with a mop. That's how it works. Okay, clean. And grab that as well. Sir. Get out! Get out! Thank you. Water. Porridge, porridge, water. Do you like water? Ma'am, and we like water too. Alright, two waters coming up. Clean this table for you, man. It's getting a little dirty. I need to order some candles. We are running out of them. I need about 20 candles. That took all, literally all of our money. That was expensive. Okay, two waters and then serve the rest of the food. Ma'am, do we have a problem? Get out! There you are. Well, we're just serving well water that's outside of our place. Just pouring it. There you go, there you go. Yeah, back in medieval times, like, clean running water was something that people would pay for. Just clean water, because they didn't have, like, running pipes and stuff. Water for you, sir. There you go. Let's check in our food. Okay, do that one. Do the dark malt. And I can't do any of that, so I'm waiting on my delivery. Hopefully. 
I have no, I have no ale stuff yet, unfortunately. All right, there you go, and here you go. Yeah, beer was a lot safer to drink than water back in the day because beer was like heated to a very high temperature and sterilized, where a lot of water was not. All right, here you go. Here you go. There you are. All right, let's cook some more bread. And some more bread there. All right, what do we got? Three waters. Okay, another water. Do we have a problem, sir? Ma'am, get out. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna wipe this down. Those coasters definitely slow down the amount of time you have to you have to uh, wipe down tables. Okay, boom, 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 boom. And then you calm down. Get out. This game is called Traveler's Rest. Get out. Don't cause problems. All right, and then boom, 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 boom. Only have 50 silver currently. Need to get some more expensive selling items. Having beer will help a lot. We wipe this table down. All right, make a little more porridge as well. Butter, curd, cream, sugar. I need ale yeast. Reputation six, hireable staff. You can now hire staff. Oh, thank God. Well, I can't actually afford to pay them yet, but it will be nice in the future when I can have enough profit that I can play, pay someone. How much is ale yeast? Take as much as I can get right now. Okay, pour waters. Boom, 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 boom. I could pay him in free water. That would work. Boom. Okay, clean that down. All right, everyone wants some food and water. There you go. I need to place my candles down before it gets super dark. On the counter here. Sir, are you all right? Ma'am, calm down, please. Here's your water. To be able to smack someone with a mop without spilling your drinks is real skill. I don't know how you manage to do that, but that is like very good skill. Sitting here holding five waters like whack. Hello, Octavius. All right, got one water. Attention everyone in the tavern, I have an announcement. In a couple of days, instead of serving water, we will have to actually have beer. We will have all the beer you could ever want. Tell your friends. We're almost to the point we can actually sell beer.
Okay, water is coming up. There you go. Don't test me. Uh, game is called Traveler's Rest. Name of the tavern. Early access won't be done for probably another year or two. Probably two years, maybe three. They're a pretty small team, so they're developing pretty slowly. I think they, they, they're raising the price of the game. They're going to hire some more people, though. They announced that they're going to be hiring more staff to develop faster, and they're going to increase the price of the game next year to compensate. So if you want to get it while it's fifteen dollars, you can get it now if you want. Next year it'll be a little more expensive. I don't know. They announced how much yet, but we'll be going up the price a little bit. You want to speak to the barkeep? What? Okay, water. Uh, concerned ape made the, enti the entirety of Stardew Valley by himself. It's, uh, making a game is hard. Especially when you make it quickly. Alright, more water. Three waters. Not today, sir. Remember, Greg, this has really good controller support. I'm playing with the controller now. Ah, oh, it's much easier my wrist that way. Yeah, so now I just switched the controller, and it's running runs really well with controller. Actually, it feels even better with controller. <laughs> so they already have controller support in the game. Yeah, we can hire people now, we're just not making enough money yet to do that, but we'll be able to very soon. Okay, let's make some pale ale. We'll add a little bitter hops to it. Alright, let's do some malted barley. I'm out of water. Let's go grab some water. Don't worry, I'm coming, people. Water, water, water. And let's put all of this in there. Okay, why does whole stack get? I'm grabbing water, no one steal anything. I don't know if they have any plans for multiplayer for this. Wait a minute. Where's all the rum gone? Oh, never mind. I never had rum. Sorry. Oh, and we haven't unlocked it yet, but if you're wondering what this stair right here is, upstairs is where you build hotel rooms for people to stay in. Not only are you a tavern, you're also an innkeeper. Oh, yeah. This game's got, like, everything in it. Can you have a brothel? Why is your mom looking for a job? <laughs> No, I don't think so. At least not yet. All right. <laughs> All right. Four drinks. Okay, there you go. Uh, pour, pour, pour. There you go. Uh, let me wipe down this table, ma'am, for you. I gotta serve some more water over here. 
I'm sorry. Poor, 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 poor. Boom. Boom. Nailing it. Get out. Okay, another water over here. Boom. Okay, we made over a goal. Oh, last call. Last call, everybody. Can I do anything with this incense burner? No, it's just cosmetic for now. Oh, you need fuel. Uh, put more coal there. Okay, start brewing our, our mort. Malt. Not our mort. <laughs> Alright, last call. No one actually left any messes today. That's good. So, we need to buy. <laughs> Can make a big chest, so I don't need that though. A milking tank preserves foraging foraging tank. Blacksmith table. Stone cutters table. Work zone poster. Oh, that's cute. Pistachio sprout. Well, I can't plant fruit trees, I believe. Garble during summer and autumn. Harvest again every 28 days. Pistachios. Beet seed. Cauliflower is growable in the spring and the winter. Wait a minute. Does cauliflower grow in the winter IRL? I don't think so. Cucumber. Get some cucumber. Now, I also need more barley. Replace the barley that we harvested already. Not bell pepper. Okay, time to go to bed. Okay, go ahead and sleep. Uh, thank you for typing that in chat, uh, on the TikTok chat. If anyone asks what game it is, we can just type out Traveler's Rest. That way I don't have to say it so many times. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, lighted barley, dark wart, and make me some porter. The little bitter hops. Uh, we're streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok at the same time. Okay, go ahead and put that in there. Oh my god, we have beer to sell, everybody. This is not a drill. We can actually sell some beer.
Oh yeah, we have beer. It is beer time. We still have water if you want water, but we do have beer now, finally. Oh my god, we got big plump tomatoes too. I'll wait I'll wait one day, the other tomatoes should be ready tomorrow. Let me water these as well. I I appreciate a good plump tomato. It's so awkward with controller that it gets as accurate as it can with the mouse. I'm just gonna go back to the mouse for this. I don't think there's any like combat in the game yet. They're still working on the game. Pretty much just the gameplay loop of running your your shop is currently finished, but. Everything outside of that is still being under development. I don't know if they have plans of doing some sort of like bandit raids or something like that. You can whack customers with a mop though, which is fun. How much does a staff member cost? The available prospective employees for types, you can only hire one of each. Employees have three positive traits, one negative, as your rep you should be able to hire trait workers with better traits. Financial pressure points can be assigned to improve an employee's traits. Employees match their wage are listed. Once you hire them, you can lower their wage to reduce their traits level. Uh, David Baker. Oh, bartender. No, I need waiter. Waiter has increased table chance of orders made at table. Vacuum. Reaches work 40 minutes late when the tavern opens. What? I'm gonna hire this guy, Patrick Watson. Help me serve drinks. We'll start working as soon as you open the tavern. I know, he arrives 40 minutes late. What is this, real life? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know about the time change last month. Sorry, I'm late by an hour. All right, let's open and make some money today. I said we're open, people. Hello. Get your bread. You would like some of our beer. Nice. Was there only one in that tap? Oh. Well, okay then. You want some beer? Got it. Nothing like a fresh beer first thing in the morning before you go to work. All right, another beer. Calm down, ma'am. Where is my worker? Okay, one beer required. I'll put it over here. He is nowhere to be found. Must have called in sick today. <laughs> Have a beer, ma'am. One green beer coming up. There you are, sir. Enjoy your beer. One water coming up. And one green beer, sir, for you. There you are. Let me grab the... You like a green beer, sir. You got it. And one water coming up. There 
you are. There you are. There you are. Sir, calm down. Gotta go. You no, get out. Okay, clean the table. Clean in. Where the hell is my employee? Okay, table wiped down. Clean your table. Did he call off sick the first day of work? One orange beer coming, two orange beers coming up. One orange beer coming up, sir. Maybe he starts working the next day, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't work today, but tomorrow. That'd make more sense. Thank you, Lissa, for sharing the uh, sharing the the game. Sharing the streaming. Yes, game is called Traveler's Rest. If you enjoy Stardew Valley or Grey Bear Keeper, you'll like this one. Get out. Okay, cleaning. Clean your table, it's getting a little nasty there. All right, we got one green beer, two waters. Another green beer. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh man, two more green beers. You guys got it. Two green beers coming up. Go there. You go. Eat everything okay, sir? One water coming up. Got one and a half gold already. Not bad. Green beer coming up. Man, man, get out. You gotta go. All right, clean, 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 clean. All right, that feels done. Now I'll do that one. Put a hint of lemon in it. Ah, let's go get more water. I also need to get some more aromatics. I need, like lemons and stuff. Okay, one green beer coming up. Calm down, and here's your beer. Cleaning. One water, there you go, sir. All right, last call, I gotta take a break. You gotta take a lunch break. Everyone, last call. All right, you guys stay over there. I gotta go in the woods and find some berries and stuff. I gotta enhance my, uh... All right, grab that. Okay, mushrooms. We need to find some berries. We can enhance the flavor up here with some berries. Any fruit really is a lemon tree sometimes too. Mm. 
Oh, there's some berries. Perfect. Wild berries. Isn't that just adding a little hint of citrus in a beer really enhances the flavor. Uh, we'll go down in the woods in the south as well. There's just a lot more there. I believe there's a lemon tree next to the farm. Yeah, the game has changed a lot in early access. When I first played it, they had a Christmas event going on, which is really cute. Perch and Hanson, thank you for that two-month resub on Twitch. Okay, chop, chop, chop. All right, let's go into the woods and try to find some wild berries or lemon trees. Would be also very nice. Oh, that's lootable. Oh, I see, I see a berry bush over there. Let's grab that. Look, oh, uh, aromatics there as well. This song has some Pirates of the Caribbean note hints to it. I think there's a few notes overlap in part of it. Want to go sailing? Makes you want to go play Skull and Bone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it does not. Skull and Bone was okay, but it wasn't like... I don't see myself playing it for more than a day or two. If that. like it, They didn't need to have a lot more in the game to keep my interest than what I played. No swashbuckling was the real killer for me. No swashbuckling or pistols and stuff. It's half of being a pirate is getting out of your ship and doing pirate stuff. I heard the duck. <laughs> when you uh, finish brewing your beer, you can add some stuff into it to give it a little extra flavor. The only one I have access to that's free right now is wild berries and stuff. It can increase the price that your beer sells for. More berries, perfect. Ooh, lemons. Let's get the lemons. Any plans to check out Cities 2? Uh, have they made it so that it runs at high frames now? Because one of the things I was reading about is that it runs really badly even on good systems. Like 30 FPS. Even on like a 4090. That which makes me leery about playing it. It's like I want to play it when they fix that. Grab the lemons. There are lemons down here. That's good. It's had a few updates. Hopefully you get it there. Definitely want to try it at some point. It's a city builder. You don't need 120 BS, really? <laughs> okay, developer. Yes, we do. I play on pay games on PC to have every game run at si at least 60 FPS. I can really tell when a game is not at 60 FPS. It just looks so much slower and choppy. I 
Uh, for a city builder, I want at least 60 FPS. Anything lower is just unacceptable. I don't need 144, but it'd be nice but that for a city builder. But at least 60 for every single game, even a, a side scroller, 60 is minimum. All right, let's get some more brew happening. A porter, and we'll add in some berries and a little. Actually, the lemon doesn't add that much. The berry added a bunch, like 30. Actually, now we'll, we'll do both. Okay, we add some more fuel. We're plenty of fun, need water. Okay, got some water. Uh, let's see, malted barley. Oh, I'm out of uh, hops. I need bitter hops or dual hops. Let me grab some hops. All right, uh, let's do... Hops. Let's get better hops. I need quite a few of those. 10 of those and also dual hops. Let's grab some of those guys. And what else do we need? Um... Did I, oh, I bought... I did buy seeds. I didn't plant them, though. I need to do that. A book full of letters. <laughs> yes, that that is what a book is. <laughs> carrots. I'll get some carrots as well. Pretty cheap, too. Mm -hmm. Chickpeas. Uh... Cobwebs. All right, we'll buy some of that, and then let's go, I believe. Yeah, we have some seeds that we bought. Let's do that. Uh, let's plant these. Soil needs to be damp, of course. Okay, four. How's it from Stardew Valley? Uh, Stardew Valley, you're a farmer just trying to do farmer stuff, whereas this, you are a tavern owner and you need to run your tavern. You have like a specific goal. Stardew Valley is more like, do whatever you want. But this one's like, you are a tavern keeper. There's no like option about that, you just, you are. You have to do everything you can to run your tavern. Get, grow your own ingredients. It kind of feels more like graveyard keeper where you're like you have a specific job that you are in charge of there's no option you like you can't choose to be a tavern keeper you are a tavern keeper it's like graveyard keeper you are the graveyard keeper they haven't really added any story yet in the game because it's still early in development can you hire winches uh yes Call them waiters, though. But yes, you can. Okay, all those are aging over there. You know they're aging barrel. Okay, another aging barrel. I will need iron nails. Coal and then wood. Let's get some nails going. 
and make some more bars and make some more nails. Okay, jump. To let's well, chopped all the other stuff, so let's go to bed. One massive difference from this from Stardew Valley is that there's no energy. Notice there's no energy meter. There's no stopping because you can't do something. They used to have an energy meter, but they took it away, which is nice. All right, let's go brew some more beer. Okay, grab that. Oh my, I need my hops. I need to, I need to get some rabbits so I can raise my own hops. And grab some water as well. I better not make them angry though, or they might be get hopping mad. Alright, uh, let's see. Mild wart. Get that going. Dark malted. Okay, we're just waiting on that these two things to finish. How are we doing on food? Let's Let's make some more vegetable broth too. Gives me a little variety. I haven't gained any experience points in a long time. I don't know how you get those, but yeah, I haven't gotten any in a while. Let's check on our uh, stuff over here. Still need nails for our aging barrel. I think we're out of fuel, yep. I'm gonna need more coal too for our our barrels. I think they require five each. Let's go get some coal. Let me check on our crops. Oh, those are big old lettuce. Now we can make salad. And we got some tomatoes for our salad now. Wish there was a way to get like seeds because I'll just keep buying them and they're very, very expensive. Casserole with a 25 month resub, thank you. Is this like Stardew Valley? It's still got some stuff from Stardew Valley. Like there's some farming and stuff. Not as involved farming. Like you put it down and you just water it once every three days. You don't have to set up sprinklers or anything like that. Or fertilizer. It's pretty simplified farming. Uh, nine. I'll put you here. Oh, gotta water first. The co-op looks fun. Is there co-op in this game? I didn't know if there was or, or not. And and unlike Stardew Valley, like you, where you just do whatever you want, this one you run the tavern. That's how you make all your money. You don't sell crops. You make food to sell in your tavern. Everything you're growing is for making um to sell in your tavern as food or beer. You don't make money any other way. The amount of page potential answering all these is it Stardew questions is top tier. Well, I've been I've been streaming for 14 years. I'm used to answering the same questions again and again and again. 
because it's not the same people asking over and over again. It's people just coming to the stream for the first time asking the question. Most of the time. A lot of people have the same questions. Like, if you have a thousand viewers, like on your viewer count, that means you have an average of a thousand viewers. That means in a course of an hour, 500 of them may have left and then 500 came and joined, so there's two people all the time. So sometimes you gotta answer the same questions again and again. It's just part of how it works. I need more coal. Let's go chop some coal. You mean I can leave? Yes. Once you fulfill the terms of your contract, you are free to leave the stream. The one you signed in blood while you were um, joining our little cult. Once you fill all your contract obligations, you're free to leave any time. No, it's made by a different studio. Uh, Concerned Ape is working on Haunted Chocolatier. And an update is starting Valley. He's not working in the other games. I think there's a big coal up here. Oh, I'll take this. Silver, though. My contract had an until death clause, though. Uh, you might want to read it again. It says, until death or beyond. Whatever form you may be after death. Also, shall serve. I mean, watch. Watch the stream and have fun. Oh, do you get any of you guys like games where you like need to keep lots of extensive notes while playing it? Like you have to fill up Excel spreadsheets and notebooks full of little notes to keep track of stuff. Because I've been playing this uh, game lately that's very fun for me. Where the game is figuring out how to play the game. I don't know if you guys played a game called Cultist Simulator. Um, it was a card game where you had to like solve a bunch of cryptic stuff and use cards to get other cards and stuff. Well, the developer of that game released a sequel called um, House of Hours. And it's like you have to like figure out book of hours yeah book of hours and you have to figure out how to play the game and figure out what works with what and keep lots and lots of notes and excel spreadsheets to keep track of stuff so if you like games like that i recommend checking out house of hours on steam or gog it, it's like i've been playing it like crazy but again it's there's lots of reading. There's lots of tri it's completely trial and error gameplay. Very little guidance. And you just have to figure out how to work, and it's all uh, cult stuff and like Lovecraftian style lore and things. It's very very cool. I'll play it a little bit on night uh, during tonight's um, during tonight's stream just to show you guys how it works, but. It's not a great game to watch because you have to like, it's a lot of just using a card on a card and just waiting for the timer to go up and get another card to then use something else somewhere else. But I'll play a little bit of it tonight so you guys can see it, but it's really cool. If you like note games, you have to take extensive notes. If you're not that, if you're not a patient person and you, you want a guided experience, I don't recommend it because it's, it doesn't really tell you much. You have to figure out everything on your own. If you like Cultist Simulator, it's a lot like that, but a little more streamlined and a little more, a little more casual tone, but still very grindy. Planks. Can I make an aging barrel? Yes. Need more nails. 
I have enough to make another one. Perfect. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, let me check on our beer. Oh, we're waiting on this. Okay. Mild wort. Okay, let's get some beer a brewing. We'll add a little hops. We'll add some fruit as well. Make that a little bit hoppy. And go ahead and put all that in there. Oh, that's right. Orders on the billboard give XP. That's right. Someone in the chat did mention that. Aging barrel. Uh, we'll put our dark cops in there. And let that start going. <laughs> oh. Oh my. I don't mean I don't want to get you guys excited, but we can make salad now. I think we have enough to make salad. Oh shit. Making salad. Our tavern now serves salad. It's just, it's just lettuce and tomatoes and no sauce, but it's still salad. It counts. Recipes available. We can make another oh, fermentation tank. Stone blocks, iron nail. Oh god, so many stone blocks for one of those. Oh lordy. You know how that's gonna be so much mining. Oh. Actually, let me see. Are there better tools that I can buy? Not even check. Only that one, at least for now. Okay, what about orders? Wild mushroom with cream. Don't have any cream yet. Okay, got two more aging barrels. Let's put those down there. All right, let's go ahead and put the barrels in here. Uh, the employees should show up today. I don't know why he didn't show up yesterday, but he should have already. Okay, we got lots of beer getting ready to be sold in the future. Yeah, he never showed up yesterday, so it's been a day since we hired him, so he should show up today, hopefully. I'll wait on that. There's a way to see my employee. Recipe book. Workers. There we go. Build a manager. Employees, please come to work as long as you open your tavern and have working option checked. You don't check the employee would not come to the tavern. Salary. Okay, so he should. 
should show up today, hopefully. Alright, I'll be right back in a second, guys. Go run the bathroom real fast. So I need to get more, even more of those uh, aging barrels because we're going to need so many of those for our restaurant. So we have a constant cycle of eight, fully aged stuff. It takes so long. Chomp, chop, 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 chop. Make sure we're getting all the coal where we can find it as well. Well, thank you, Soggy Zane, for the random fact. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what will be the critical mass we need to have enough barrels that we're making enough ale that's aged long enough to make money to have constant ale in our tavern. We'll hit that number eventually. I do appreciate this game having a very large inventory space so I can just carry everything. That's always a nice thing. Let me go double check our beer and see if it's done fermenting. No, these are done though. Those go way faster than this thing does. Probably make two a day on average. Let's grab more water. I don't like having that well next to the street because people probably throw garbage in there. I don't think it's a trash can. Some dark wort. Lighted barley. Add a little hops. And a little actually take the bitter out of there. Okay, more salad. Must have more oh nope. Make more salad, please. And we shall dump it into our food container. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's keep the planks a going. The planks, nails, I got the coal. Music, are you okay? Music doesn't sound too good right there. <laughs> Keeps cutting in and out. Music, go home, you're drunk. Let me uh, go to the top and see if there's some coal up here. 
was the guy who was over here today. Never mind then. Let's go back. My sire, thank you for that 20 month resub on Twitch. It's called Traveler's Rest, where you uh, you are running a tavern. I know it looks like it's thirty value, but you don't sell your crops. You just crap stuff to sell in your tavern. All right, let's open for business. Okay, make sure she's all lit in here. All right, fill up the cat bowl. Your waiter has arrived, yes! <laughs> Waiters that pull from tabs will need to be ready to take Babbitt's table and serve them the tables. Hell yeah. We finally have help. Okay, water. So are you just gonna stand there? Could you could you go do something? Okay, green beer for the man right here. Sir, calm down. Okay, one red beer, one green beer. There you go, enjoy. Looks like uh, one green beer for the table. He's doing something, yay! Okay, water. One green beer coming up. Okay, two green beers and one water. Uh, one more water, get it. Okay, looks like three green beers. There you go, there you are. I'm sorry, but we're out of green beer, everybody. All we have is red beer left. What's up, sir? Oh, no, not today. You will get smacked across the face. All right, let's see. Yeah, you put the drinks on the counter and he'll take them to the table for you so you don't have to run so far anymore. He should also clean tables too, in theory. There you go, sir. He won't do the rowdy customers though, I have to do that. Sir! Get out of here! He's cleaning tables, look! <gasps> He's earning his money, I like that. Look at him wipe down the tables. There's so much less for me to do now. Okay, we got red beer. Another red beer. Okay, one more red beer. Oh no. We have one red beer left. Just one. A single beer. This man's got the last beer, guys. Sorry. Okay, more water for the table. I know you got to fight that last guy for the last beer. He's got the last one. All we got now is water. Two waters coming up. There you go. Enjoy. One water for the gentleman over there. There you go. Sir, what's your problem? Get out. You got lots of food, though. An employee is taking a break. A break? I think the breakdown says you can always brush and make them return their post. What the hell is a break? Oh my god. 
god. Okay, two waters. There you go. And some food. Here you are, sir. Here's your water. Better not be a paid break. That's all I'm saying. Where the hell is he? How long of a break is he taking? Oh, last call. I didn't realize it was 2 a.m. One water for you. Okay, get out. Yep. He didn't take a break. He went home early. This is bullshit. Oh, there you are. Oh, why when we're closed? How convenient. Gosh. Okay, it is almost. Oh, uh, passed out now. Oh no, it's 11 a.m. as I passed out. Oops. Happens. Go grab water outside. Okay, make more salad. One will actually have a little onion in it. Alright, go in and grab water. What if there was some way that we could have water go from the outside to the inside of the building without having to go to the well. Nah, that's impossible. That could, that could never happen. I don't see that ever being a thing. That's done. Age that stuff. I know, it sounds like witchcraft. It sounds dangerously close to heresy. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean to, to mean, mean for it to be heresy. Something about this sex right here likes the, the music cuts out. Right there, the music gets a little stuttery. Just that spot. I know, next I'll be asking for crazy stuff, like what if we just had a way to use the bathroom indoors and have it go back outside, you know? That would, I don't see that ever, that would just be crazy. Straggler right there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, keep all that watered and we'll do this over here. It stays watered. Uh, we need coal. Some coal here. Mm 
How much is this game? I think it's $15 and it's on Steam. It's an early access. Very interested in it. Wooden planks. Nice. Aging barrel. Need more nails, though. Something about this area, it gets very stuttery here. Just need 15 more nails. Actually a lot more than that, need some wood too. Chop down the wood. Bought this game to play later looks fun. It's a lot of fun. Even in its early access, it's got a lot of gameplay hours in it. Uh, this is made by a, a small team of people, I believe. I think they're hiring more people soon. I love that that every time that he's working on Haunted Chocolatier concerned Ape who made Stardew Valley, he's like he ends up being like, let's just what if I made more Stardew Valley content? And we're all like, yes please. Won't say no to that. find more coal somewhere. More planks, though. Just need uh, three sets of nails, which should be done. Okay, one more, and then actually three sets of nails. Or even another one. I don't know what's going on with that one spot right there. It's just like, nope, we're done. Uh, control the controller works really well, so I'm sure it played good on Steam Deck. I haven't tested it personally. Okay, once that's done, we will be able to make another aging barrel. There it goes. Not enough skill points. Aging barrel, please. All right, go to make an IPA and dark malt as well. And let's finish making our salads. Nope. <laughs> Let me go place our aging barrels as well. We have at least one.
pet the kitty. Mild ale, a little bit of berry, and a little lemon. Got those in the aging barrel now. So it looks like possibly tomorrow we'll have a bunch of stuff ready. You can pet the cat, yes, you can give the cat water and then pet the cat each day. A lot of the game's not done. There is a tree in here called Magic. So Magic will be in the game in some form. So I don't know what that means, but there will definitely be some sort of magic in the game. I don't know if it's spells or buffs or hypnotism or what, but there will be some sort of magic. Upstairs is the, is the uh, inn where you build furniture and stuff for people to stay in your in your tavern two more barrels up here is where we will once we unlock it we'll be able to build our inn we will build rooms and furnish them and then people will pay based on how nice the room is and they'll also want room service and stuff a lot of stuff in this game Quite impressive. Okay, put that there and there. And refill that one. Is that always there? It's not very bright if it was. Put that by the door. Thank you for those bits, KM Green. This game is only available on PC currently, but who knows in the future once it's out of early access. Well, like they already have controller support in the game, so it'll definitely be on the Switch and consoles at some point. The game's just not done yet. I was just waiting on this to finish making us beer. Okay, I need more water. Let's go grab water. All right, orders. Let's see. Dippa, Bach. We'll make some, oh, additions of honey. I don't have honey. Oops. And I don't have nut nut bars. I don't know what a nut bar is. Okay, we shall sleep. Oh, out of fuel. First, put all that in there. Make some dip of wort. All right, now we shall sleep, and hopefully in the morning we'll have more beer to sell. Going to be a little bit early. Make some IPA with some fruit in it.
take some pale. How are we doing down here? Let's see. Two are finally done. Okay, we actually have beer again, which is great. A little bit of beer, actually. Not the most beer in the world, but it's better than no beer. Put that in there as well. Go grab some more water. There's no penalty to, like, just waiting time now, so I might just wait for time to bat. Oh, I've got to check my crops each day, though. Those carrots look almost done. Some water, some more water, some more water. Do you stream on Twitch? Yes, I stream on Twitch and TikTok and YouTube all at the same time. So hi to all three chats. Um, Dan's gaming on all platforms. Except Tinder, where I'm just ugly. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not on there anymore. Must have good internet speed. Yes, I have a gigabyte connection, so I can I can stream big streams. Thankfully. <laughs> Uh, let's do double tomato on their salad here. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check to see how much of this stuff is sellable now. Not much. Still waiting a little bit. Probably one more day. I don't have a lot of beer to sell yet, which sucks. Let's put all our food in here, though. All right, keeping all the chats now. Uh, Twitch chat's really active. The um, TikTok and YouTube streams are using about 100 viewers each, so they're much more easier to keep track of. So it's not like they're they're zooming. Let me double. Let me uh, do a little fast travel. But there's really no penalty to just sort of skipping ahead days and days just to make it make our uh, beer ready to serve. A dipa with some hops in it. Yeah, most people lurk on Twitch and YouTube and TikTok. Hi, lurkers. Made some turkey stew. I haven't seen a turkey in a while, but if I see one, I will. Ooh, bell peppers. Plants that just sort of regenerate themselves is always super OP. There's all lurkers. Hi, lurkers. Yeah, for the longest time you weren't allowed to stream on any platform except Twitch when you were streaming on Twitch, but they recently changed that. So now you stream on all platforms. So whether you're a partner or affiliate, you can stream um, wherever you want. The only people that can't are the ones that have the million dollar exclusive contracts, which is very few people, but... Everyone else can stream on all platforms.
I need to grab some coal. We're very low on coal. Both our machines need coal. There's one more coal up here, and then we should be good. Let me check the basement and see how our ale is doing. Yeah, they seem to be phasing out the exclusive contracts. For the most part, they keep signing a few, but not, not many anymore. They used to do like, lots of people. I used to have one a few a couple years ago. Now they're just sort of letting them expire, they're not renewing. Alright, let's check the basement. Another day. Okay, put that in there. Let's go ahead and skip forward one day. There doesn't seem to be any penalty for skipping ahead time, so I'll just take full advantage of that. Okay, still not quite there. Getting close, though. I'd like to open I have more than one type of beer to serve. Malted barley. Let's make a IPA. Let those go. Let me go check the crops. I think I got another one of those fermentation tanks. Carrots are done. All right, let me go ahead and I'm gonna skip ahead two days. Sleep. I'm sure they'll add some sort of punishment eventually, but currently there's no penalty for this. Out of yeast, let me grab some more yeast. Okay, put that in there, and take this and put that in there. Take that out. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead like six days. Sleep. That way I have a good chunk of beer to sell. I don't have to worry. I wish I could just lie in bed for seven days if I wanted to. Just on a whim. Sleep. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep. There's no... A lot of the game is unfinished. Everything outside of the tavern, in, even some stuff in the tavern aren't finished all the way. Okay, and then we'll see... All of our aging stuff should be done. We're very near done. Look at all that beautiful beer. Brings a tear to your eye. Just all that beautiful, beautiful beer. Look at all that beer. 
I love it. There's so much beer. We got all the beer. Now we gotta order some yeast. Cause it's the yeast I could do. And that's some hops. Some bitter hops. Dual hops. Can't buy all that. All right, we're open now. We actually have beer this time. We have all the beer. Yeah, the UI is very similar to Graveyard Keeper. Okay, I need to get some water too. Oh yeah, I need candles. Well, we'll order some money and then buy candles. Oh, water. That's what I came out here to do. Water. All right, welcome guys. Here you go. You want two red beers. You got it. Food, you want some water? Water? Where's my employee? He's just not here. <laughs> Again. Water. You serve like a beer? What's wrong? Calm down. Oh, I was broke when I opened, so maybe I couldn't pay him. Wait, does he? Does that mean he wants money? Isn't just doing it for the joy of helping someone out enough? I guess he wants to get paid. He wants some pink drink. There you go. Here's your pink cocktail. There you are. Wipe that down. Wipe that down too. I'm on it, sir. One green beer coming up. There you are, sir. Sir, you need to relax. Or I will hit you with my mop. Get out. Okay, one yellow beer. One red beer, one pink beer, and some porridge. There you go, enjoy. One red beer. There you go. Okay, salad and soup, and you want a beer, here you go. Two salads, there you are. One water, coming up. The waiter is missing, because I think we didn't have any money to pay him at the beginning. When we started the day. That's my current guess, but I don't really know. He does get four silver an hour, which is quite a lot. Okay, two red beers, one green beer. We got one water and one green beer. There you go, sir. Calm down. Table wipe down, sure. Clean your table as well. I'm not sure if we can expand the size of our tavern. Might happen when we unlock building, which is later. Go, sir. There's your drink. Green beer. Uh, you calm down. 
Calm down. Nope. Get out, ma'am. One yellow beer. One yellow lager. There you go. Enjoy. I gotta order some candles. Uh, there's lots of women in there. All right, uh, I need candles. Can candles. Probably about 20. If you don't uh, calm down uh, the rowdy people, they make everyone else upset around them. Kind of like in real life. You're just hanging out and having a good time and someone starts yelling and screaming at the staff and you're like, calm down. Crazy. Okay, you would like a red beer? One green beer coming up. You want your money back? Shut up. Okay, salad. Green beer. Last call, people. We're closing for a little bit, so hopefully my servant will show up. Sorry, employee. Definitely an employee. Okay, wiped on the table. He's definitely an employee. Really? You just gonna leave the mess on the ground? Oh, come on, people. Yeah, get out, everybody. Get out. Do they have Christmas stuff still? No, they don't. They had a bunch of Christmas items in the game at one point, and then they just sort of disappeared. I don't know where to find them again. They may have taken it away because it was just a, an event. Water. There was an, a Christmas event where you could get Christmas items in games, but I don't know if that's still in the game or just gone. Maybe they canceled Christmas this year. My inventory is very, very full. So let's, uh, Drop off all this stuff in here. Anything food related could get dumped in here. And beer related. Because it pulls from your inventory from the uh, chest in the room, which is great. mild ale with some fruit and a little hops in there. Okay, sort by type. All those beers are done, which is great. Got lots and lots of this one. Got lots of beer still. Okay, nothing needs aged yet. Oh, uh, there's not really any story in the game yet, so I'm sure that'll come later. Game's called Traveler's Rest. All right, uh, let's see. Let me think if I'm missing something. Oh, we can harvest all this. And 
and that one. That barley lasts us a long time. Okay, we should be able to open again. Hopefully our employer will show up since we have cash now to pay him. Employee, please show up. Pretty please. Also, I should see if my um my candles are here yet. They are good. I'm sick. Sorry, we're not liable for anything that any illness from the food you eat at our tavern. There's a warning that says this may not this may get you sick. Eat at your own risk. Okay, one yellow, oh, no, nope, one pink beer. Uh, another pink beer. Okay, red beer. Two waters. One red. Sir, are you okay? Sorry, ma'am, I'm in ma'am. Okay, pink. Another pink lager over here. Another one. Okay, pink lager. Uh, one green beer for the gentleman out there. If you could go take it to him, that'd be great. Thank you. Yellow lager. Things that didn't exist in this time period. Health inspectors. <laughs> so, eat at your own risk. The game's called Traveler's Rest. It's on PC. It's an only access. If you're a fan of Stardew Valley, I think you'll like this game a lot. Although it's a bit different because you don't... You are... The only way to make money is to sell stuff in your tavern. Food and drinks. Don't make money any other way in this. Place bollocks. What do you mean bollocks? You're bollocks. Okay, one red beverage and a pink beverage for the gentleman. And a yellow beverage. There you go. So, a water. Okay, you need to calm down. I also need to calm down. Get out, ma'am. All right, green. There you go. Calm down, sir. Two porridges, you got it. Bread, salad, salad, green drink. There you are. I don't know, people get really upset all the time. I don't understand. They just they get really mad all the time. Like constantly. Calm down, sir. Okay, salad, salad. We're up to two gold now. Okay, pink beverage, you got it. Some water, sure, you go. Okay, put that back over there as well. Calm down, sir. Good 
Get out from behind the bar. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, pink beer, green beer, and a red beer. There you go. And I will take care of this guy. Yellow beer coming up. I'll turn on the firewood. It's a little chilly. One glass of water coming up. And a yellow beer and some bread. Okay, you guys, you would like a pink drink. Let me go knock this guy in his face. Get out of here. I know, he went behind the bar and he's like, you looking at me? Like, yes sir, you're behind the bar. You're not supposed to be, of course we're looking at you. Red drink. And some broth. And then a yellow drink for the gentleman over there. You would mind my serving that water. Get out of here. Your bollocks, get out. There you go, sir. Want to serve that, please? That'd be great. Salad for the young lady. Yeah, you can open and close anytime you want, which is nice. It's not like preset hours. You can open and close multiple times a day if you want. Business is booming. Yeah, we're making all the money now. You go grab water outside. Okay, one green beer for the gentleman. There you go, wouldn't mind serving that. Gotta grab some water. Get out of here, piece of shit. Okay, one red beer and one water for the lady at the bar. Okay, salad for you. Salad, red beer, you got it, porridge. Making pretty good money, just gonna get higher selling stuff. Make even more money. Okay, then, uh, sir, what is wrong with you? Calm down. It's always so dark behind the bar, I need to brighten it up somehow. Okay, gentlemen would like a red beer. You got it. Put that in there. Uh, red beer and a pink beer. Two pink beers and a water. Wait a minute. Where the hell is my... Oh, he's on a break, isn't he? Get out! All right, uh, red beer and a pink beer, coming up. I did two red, that's, oops. All right. Work, broom, work! What, have, do, I have, do I have to clean things myself? Buttons aren't working. Red, pink. Get out of here. Oh, look, he's back from his break. Thanks. Welcome back. Okay, what is wrong with you people? Get out, Grandma and Grandpa. Okay, 
I need a green drink. You and my serving that. What's wrong, ma'am? Get out, please. Pink drink for the young lady over there. Serve a uh, green drink. Pink drink again. You made almost four gold today. It's pretty good. Do you have to hit them with the mop? Yes. Yes, I do. It's better than using a club. Okay, green. Another green for the gentleman over there, if you mind serve that. Last call, people. Last call, you gotta get out. Construction mode has been unlocked. Access to the truck table has been sent to the delivery chest. Construction mode unlocked. Brewing equipment. Now we can construct things. Which means we should be able to we can build our rooms now. Build your first room. Okay, I got a bed. It's almost three, though. I know I need to hire a bouncer too. Going out and smacking people is annoying. Well, it's still therapeutic, but it's also annoying. So now that we unlock construction mode, we can build rooms up here for people to stay in the night. This is a space to build rooms. Might be able to expand the, the tavern too. We will see. Let me go grab the construction thing and see what it is. Uh, where do I place it? Than anywhere here. Um, must be outside. Must get in the work area. Yep, we built it up here. Long well, stretch mode. Here you can expand your tavern, customize walls and floors, create rooms, distribute areas, and much more. To start, let's move around the map with Waz. Uh, I press shift to do it faster. In the upper left corner, you'll toggle between floor view and wall view. The uh, full view, which also includes objects. Building decorating with two materials in the center top panel. Um, resources stored in your construction table. Make sure you put all necessary materials in before you start building. Panel top right shows this floor, top floor to continue. This, as your first time, the changes uh, you made will be free of charge in the future. The truck table, uh, which you will access in construction mode, will use the store materials you're going to use. Bottom panel, you'll find the toolbar. You can In it, you can navigate through the different menus to build the floor, customize tavern, distribute zones, add doors, and access to other floors. At the moment, some of the options are locked, but as soon as you finish the store, you'll be able to access all the options. Get to work. Crafting the first for this room. Create a floor brush in the build menu. Um, create an area highlighted green. You can use a new space tile. Create floor. Cool. When we build new rooms, no zone is assigned to them. Some objects and functions are exclusive to certain zones, so we'll have to find what zone this new room will be. In the zones uh, toolbar, you can uh, tavern zone, crafting zone, select craft zone designed to the new room you just created. Crafting zone. Well done, you now be able to place crafters in this new room. Depending on your location, you'll have more or less zones to, to assign. As you progress, 
Go to expand your tavern more and more. In addition to the available tiles in each zone, there's a limit to the number of areas you can create. This limit is appear on your toolbar. Uh, and we'll expand as you improve as an innkeeper. Over time, you'll have more craft rooms, even more dining rooms. Let's customize our craft room. The decoration menu of the toolbar, you'll find floors and walls. Select the regular stone wall and apply it to your new room. Unlike floor uh, walls, floors are applied uh, tile by tile. Select the stone block and by playing the entire room. Uh, building and decorating cost materials, although these changes are not final until you exit the construction mode. Building tiles and specific decorations based on shapes will return the materials to changes that are not yet confirmed. Craft room is almost finished. To add some privacy, you should add a door. Select the door in the SS toolbar and place in the highlighted area. The craft room is ready. Now it's time to create a new type of room, the guest room. Customers will be able to spend the night and pay you for it. Food and drink aren't the only money makers in your tavern. First thing is create a space needed. Add the uh, floor. Uh, thank you, Robot, for the uh, for Tate the Gamer um, reward. Appreciate that. All right, so we want to add room. Assign the guest room. Place the guest room door. Oh, guest room door. Boom. At, by placing the guest room door, the room is on you become a guest room. Zone can't be replaced unless the guest room door is removed. In order for a client to spend the night, the guest room must have a bed, a table, a chair, and a light source. We'll give you everything you need this time. Let's be the decoration mode, place objects in the guest room. <laughs> guest room is ready. As long as the minimum requirements are met, it could be assigned customers who request a guest room at the tavern bar. As you know everything you need to get the most of your tavern, confirm the changes, exit the tutorial, press the confirm button, and do so all changes will be applied and materials used will be deducted. Cool. Upgrade rotation as innkeeper to gain access to new components, and remember to put materials into your construction table before you start building. Now we've unlocked, what is this? Reception desk. Rent out rooms and ensure a good stay. Oh. So I can put that in our tavern. Customers requested a room. If you accept their offer, select the room and click accept. Uh, you can haggle for a better price or simply decline their offer is too low. Apparently, you can see all the rooms and their features. Icons next to the names or I'll just identify them. Get rid of the room or status type, comfort, size. Each customer asks for different requirements for their room. And prizes we have, the room does not meet their expectations. Rooms which are already occupied or dirty cannot be rented. For a room to be assigned, it must have at least basic furnishing and be free and clean. 17 silver for a night. So now we have a little tavern in addition to our, I mean a little inn in, in addition to our tavern part of the game. And also we can build and expand the tavern and kitchen area, which is great. I think it should be an extra fee if you want a clean room. And an even bigger fee if you want to have it be clean and have no one else in the room. Like those, those should be expensive extras. Uh, Rick hey, thank you for that resub. I just got your Christmas sweater with all your hose on it. Super comfy and nice. Thank you, Drack Duck. I'm glad you like it. The, the sweatshirt came out really well this year. Rare Bear Cat, thank you for that, that sub. 
Prime Gaming sub on Twitch. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a lunch break. Kevin should be back in a little bit, and we're going to go grab some lunch. I'll be on later today and around 4.30 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be playing some of that game I told you earlier, the Book of Hours, where it's a very Excel spreadsheet kind of game. So I'll just show you a little bit of gameplay of it. It's pretty fun. And thank you guys for watching. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the follows on TikTok and Twitch and the subs on YouTube. I'll let you know when I'm streaming again. If you give the follow button a, a hit. And thank you for subbing on Twitch. Uh, being a member on YouTube and all the gifts on the Twitch TikTok chat. You guys are wonderful. I'm Dan's Gaming. I'll see you guys a little bit later today in a couple hours. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll play more of this tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you guys in a little bit. Here's a little something you may not know. All video games take place in a shared multiverse called the Metabit. And it's home to a legendary hero jumping in and out of worlds to save the day. But just who is this mysterious champion? Yep, you guessed it. Dan. And all of your favorite video game heroes, past and present, they're actually Dan. Remember that retail store clerk who had to fight off a freaky cult of the undead? That was Dan. Or when the retired colonel suited up to save the city from invading snake aliens. Also Dan. The time I died 27 times trying to cross that stupid bridge and I nearly threw my controller through the wall. Yeah, okay, so no one's perfect. But in the end, Dan always comes out on top. Dan's dedicated his life to defeating the perils of the Metabit. And now, he's helping others do the same.